I want to bring in someone who was just in the room for the president of Ukraine speech, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff of California. Congressman, so good to see you this morning. Thank you. So let, let's talk about this Ukraine situation. So far, the U.S. has offered $60 million in aid to Ukraine for food rations, body armor, communications equipment. Do you support providing more aid that the Ukrainian president is asking for? I do support that. Uh, you know, I think particularly in light of the fact that uh, Russia moved its own forces into Ukraine. Uh, it has brought artillery into Ukraine. Uh, it has really become a, a belligerent, not just by supporting these separatists, but by having Russian forces themselves engage in combat. Uh, so I think we should provide greater support to Ukraine. I also think we need to keep the pressure up with our European allies to expand the sanctions. Uh, I don't think we should let up on that at all. And now the other major issue Congress is dealing with right now is the president's plan to, to fight ISIS. And yesterday the House approved funding to train and equip moderate Syrian opposition forces. Eighty-five of your fellow Democrats voted no. You voted yes. Why? Well, it was a difficult vote, I think, for all of us. Uh, I voted yes because I think the threat from ISIL is real and we have to respond to it. Uh, I don't think that threat justifies uh, U.S. occupation in Syria or Iraq. Uh, but I do think it means that we have to take steps to degrade and ultimately defeat ISIL. And that will require not just airstrikes, but it will require having partners on the ground. Uh, so in Iraq, we have those partners in the, in the Kurdish Peshmerga and the Iraqi Special Forces. In Syria, we don't. Uh, and this is a proposal by the president that we try to arm the moderate opposition so that they can become an effective ground force. Now, that's a tall order. I certainly understand the reservations that many have about it. I, I share those reservations. But this is a force that uh, will be used not against Bashar al-Assad, which was what the previous proposal had been, but rather to help us combat ISIL. And I think it, it merits our trying to uh, train and it's equip just... this force. I'm just wondering if anybody can trust uh, uh, these people, these moderate opposition, whoever they may be. Can they be trusted? Well, this is why we're going to keep them on a short leash, why, uh, in fact, the administration will be kept on a short tether because we're going to require reports periodically. We can cut the funding at any time. So if these moderate rebels don't prove to be moderate or they prove to be more interested in fighting the regime than they are fighting ISIL, uh, then we will reevaluate. Re this is not going to be something set in stone. Uh, it will be essentially arming and equipping but measuring performance. If we don't get the performance, it won't continue. Congressman Adam Schiff, so good to see you. Thanks for being with me this morning. Appreciate it. Great your time. to be with you. Thanks.